telling you. I did what I thought was best at the time. The The ties were not placed properly. Yes, sir. So I used a lot more materials than what was stated in the budget, just to suit your taste. However, the job was done haphazardly. Gosh, I hate clumsy work. Okay, sir. So, you can take it out of my paycheck. I admit it, I should have consulted you first. So, I will do better next time. Okay. Trouble at work? Babe. Do you, do you think I'm sentimental about my job? I think you take your job seriously. And that's a good thing. D. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice safe. Thank you for the breakfast. Dave, se seriously, I think I'm very emotional about my job. And it, it's something I should work on. Right? Okay. Mr. Leko asked me my idea for the kitchen finishing. As usual, my mind is my first workplace. The I pictured it. Immediately, I walked into the house through the main door. I knew the guys had done a bad job. From the living room, you can see the, the kitchen at an angle. Hmm, something felt off. And I go into the kitchen. Voila! Wrong design. The ties were not cut properly the way I asked them to. I told them to take it down. And it was supposed to be between us. But you know Idris now? He always wanted my job. He came pugnosing. And they told him what happened. He calls me Saleko. And Mr. Saleko calls me this morning to vent. No way. Long story cut short is taking it out of my paycheck. Wow, what a story. It's crazy, huh? Dave, is that all you have to say? My baby. You have everything under control. It doesn't seem like you. Yes, you do. Don't say that. Well, you may be a little less richer now, but you still got the job. And knowing you, my little munch, can you do a far better <laughs> job? Okay? Mm -hmm. And that's the most important thing. And maybe you should consider supervising your own work instead of leaving it to all those workers. Abi? Mm -hmm. That would have helped save me all this trouble. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. Look at that, walking baby. <laughs> babe. Babe? Yeah, babe, what's up? The lights, babe. We need to recharge. Who recharged the last time? What did you mean? It was me. I recharged mine and yours. Speaking of which, I'll be going to my house tomorrow. Why are you leaving? Is it because of the light bill? I will pay now, chill. In fact, I'll pay right now. All right? Why don't you wait till weekend, at least? Hmm? By the way, how much is it? 10K. 10K? Yes. Only. Okay, I'll pay it. Hey, my friend, where's your ring? I almost forgot. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're going to your male client's house today, Abby. Mm-hmm. Better wear that ring so they know that you're taking. Why she told me that her fiance, after spending seven days of night with you, came back to tell her that he has taken a vow of celibacy until marriage. Hmm. My sister, that is when I know wonders shall never cease to happen. Eh? Are you serious? My sister, this thing I am telling you is not they said that this one said. It is the babe herself that told me. She told me everything. Happiness she's been crying for days. Aww. And not because of his Lila, yo, but because that man took her for a fool. You remember I told you one time that he suddenly confessed that he's personally bankrupt? I told you now. Yes. Yes, now when she noticed he's been making too many withdrawals from their mm -hmm. company accounts, mm -hmm. the one they opened when they started the business together. Yes. My sister, that girl has been blinded by love. Completely. If not that I want her to open an individual account, this boy would have washed her and rinsed her dry. Hm. My dear, you know what? That guy has a girl. Mm -hmm. A baby mama. Yes, now. And there is nothing anybody will say to convince me otherwise. I will not be surprised. I don't think a man deciding to be celibate should be considered a suspicious behavior. My man is a virgin. By choice. He was raised in a strict Catholic family. He would have even become a priest if his brother didn't die in an accident years ago. He was pressured to raise a family. And he accepted. Still, he has remained a virgin, waiting till our wedding night. And I have never criticized his decision or disbelieved him. So you guys should. And your kid brother is a virgin? My man. Oh. Divine. Oh, and how old is he? 32. Does it really matter? Andrea, you know Divine now. Her fiancé. <sighs> yes, I know him. That very cute guy. Oh, that guy is so handsome and gentlemanly. Hmm. And if not for Sister Scolding, I would have snatched him right away. If I catch you. <laughs> you just want to say Coco, I hate to be the one to give you this um. Bad news. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that your guy is lying. Mm -hmm. That guy is too good to be true. Listen, babe. There is no male virgin in this world at all. Remember, roses are red, violets are blue. And so everything I'm seeing here is true. Okay. Eh, 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 eh. Not a word. And you're welcome. I just saved your ass. Mm. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> so how are we doing the job? I'm telling you, boy doesn't want to bring that money. Can you imagine? I should stay till next week. How long is it best to stay in here? I think it's fine. And she's not staying here. It's just for a visit. She? Yeah, she. Your cousin or your auntie? More like a cousin. Okay. No reason why I should stay. Make a good impression. You have a woman in your life. You should let it show. All right, so we're going to put up a great show then. Yes. I can't wait to meet her. I want to show your wife material skills. Okay? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs>
Ve bezlesin. That's my goddaughter. Her mother is the one that's coming over during the weekend. She's uh, she's a relative. You didn't mention she was married with kids. No, no, she's not married. She only has one kid. So, oh, baby mama drama. Yeah, something like that. Welcome, sis. Can I call you sis? Sure. You can. Welcome, Karen. Thank you. How was your trip? Fine. Oh, come in. Come in. Thank come you. Come inside. So how is it work? I don't work divine. Oh, uh, yeah. I own a business. Ah, uh, yes. I almost forgot. And how is that working out for you? Well, the tech industry is very competitive, as you know. Especially over the last couple of years. Being a woman, I practically have to work miracles. Pay techno walls and do just about anything to end my place. It's a shame. I don't find likable enough the countless men that come to me for support. <laughs> but I feel that saves me some kind of unnecessary distraction. Karen. <laughs> okay. Okay. So where are you staying now? Your girlfriend is pretty. Does she know you never had sex? Really? <sighs> Karen? I, I'm just curious. I like to know how things work out physically between you two. <laughs> you know, I think she looks worldly. No, 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 don't. Stop. Stop. All right, please. Okay. Divine, you know I only want what's best for you. Your stepbrother, your stepbrother was my world. And ever since he died, I feel responsible for you in some way. I hope you understand. I can't wait for my turn tomorrow. Don't worry, I'll give it to you hot. You're doing great. You have a birthmark. Uh huh. Used to be bigger when I was a child. I'm just seeing it. Yeah, go down, go down, go down. Yeah. You're real tough. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So, so, you own the firm? No, I work for the firm. Oh, you do. 
So, what's the name of the firm? Is it a very popular one? Chaos Finishing. It's not that popular. Wow. Well, good thing Divine makes enough money. He doesn't pay all my bills. I contribute financially as well. How oh, I miss New Jersey. Mm. What do you miss about New Jersey? The parks. The public parks. And I enjoy the smell of fresh air. Sometimes it could be cold and biting, but it's still fresh. That was very nice. Oh, I think we should have a fun girl time before you leave. You know, get to know each other. Sister to sister. That will be nice. Karen should knows where to get really good donuts. You know, back in New Jersey, she would bake them herself. Sweet tooth, that woman. Sweet tooth. Oh, what the? What did I do? You've never mentioned New Jersey. I don't know, babe. It's not everywhere that I've been to that you know about. It's anyway, I don't know everywhere you've been to, so chill. Really? So I don't have the right to know everywhere you've been? Coco, I didn't say that. So when is she leaving? She'll be out of here in a week. Don't worry. She'll be out of your hair very soon. Why do I feel like a pawn in someone's game? Why do I feel like a pawn in someone's game? Please wake me up. From the slumber, wake me up. Okay, I need to know what's going on. What's, what's going on? I, I should be asking you what's going on. What are you talking about? The birthmark and New Jersey is way too much of a coincidence. You better start talking, Divine. My mother didn't raise a fool. Okay, okay, calm down. Calm down, Coco. What are you talking about? What birthmark? Karen's baby has two birthmarks where you have one. You told me about schooling in London. Never mentioned anything about New Jersey. Whatever took you there? I mean, what is Karen doing in town anyways? Where is her home? How is she related to you exactly? Coco, can we, can we at least sit down and talk about this? We're both civilized people. Can we just sit down and talk about this? Is she your mistress? Is she your other woman? What? Coco, she is my stepbrother's fiance who died several years ago before they could get married. What has come over you? What, what, what's all this? Where is this coming from? Karen has no family. You don't know what it feels like to be an orphan, to be lonely. I grew up an orphan if it wasn't for my foster father that took me in. It's been seven years since my stepbrother died. Everyone is trying to hold on to the only family that they know. You have brothers, sisters. You don't know what that feels like. No, please try and understand that Karen is here to bond with the only family that she knows. And that's a good thing. Yeah, I, I get it. I'm sorry. Hmm? Indeed, I'm sorry. Um, who is the father of her baby? I don't know, some other time. Okay. Come on now. 
I'm sorry. It's not fair. It's not fair. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, the way the guy came in and was acting like fool was so funny. Karen, good morning. Good morning, Coco. You off for work? Yes, I didn't know you were around. Oh, babe, she just got in. Okay. I'm trying to get the vine to take me out. I can loan your fiancé for a couple of hours. Hope you don't mind. Sure. Have fun. Babe. Hmm? Take care of yourself, all right? That man I told you caught his daughter with his own friend in a hotel room. Yes, yes. Hey, hey, happiness them don't marry. <laughs> it's a lie. I am not joking. See this thing I'm telling you. If not that like the daughter told me herself eh, when she was busy showing me the ring that her husband bought her. Oh, mom, I would not have believed it myself. <laughs> and the father nearly brought down hell when he saw them together. Uh -huh. And he also brought down a portion of heaven when his friend showed him money. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, check it, check it. Uh, the father is broke. His friend is rich. Uh, His daughter is beautiful. Uh, oh, you do not need for that man to calculate it, do you? This <laughs> life. Ah, wonder shall never end. My sister, I am still in shock. Coco. Coco! Ha! Babes, are you alright? You've been quiet. <laughs> or is there some kind of gist you want to gist us? No. I definitely don't have anything to talk about. Did Titus bring the new houses for rent? Yes, he did. Babe, are you sure you're right? Yes, I am. Baby, it wasn't like I was sneaking in. Karen asked for a day out and you, you gave it. So? It's my fault that my man went out, comes back late without calling to check in. Divan, even if I knew you were with your mom, you call me. Okay, fine, fine. Fine. My bad. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Coco, what's going on? Hmm? What's going on with you? These days you've been Nagging. Nagging. It's it's like you, you push us to fight consistently. And naturally you're a peaceful person and I don't take your peaceful nature for granted. So what's the problem? Work stress, I guess.
I'm sorry. I am ready to start making wedding plans. Really? Great! Awesome, good news. Karen will help. No. I mean, she's leaving soon. Okay. Right. All right, so go to bed. Let me change. I'll join you soon. Yes, yes. Um, what about this one? Yeah. Okay. This looks good. Karen! Good morning. Good morning, Coco. Coco, do you know Miss Karen? I have been telling her how beautiful she is. And smell that. Smell that. That's, that's her perfume. That's all her. It must be expensive. Thank you. I'm a woman with great taste. And Coco, thank you for yesterday. I must say, you're such an amazing woman to be considered a wife. Thank you. So what happened yesterday? Coco. Coco, thank goodness you're back. I've been looking for the apartment to let I gave you days ago. I have not reviewed them. What do you mean by that? I have not reviewed them. Can I talk to you? And you talk to Andre. What is it? That woman, how did she get here? Who did she meet first? I met her this morning when I was coming to work. And it happened that she was looking for a real estate agency to get. You know we do that here. So, I brought her in. So you just let anybody into our office? How are you doing? What do you mean by that? You don't see that woman. That woman is well to do now. What's your problem? I need a favor from you. Please, show her the worst apartment on our list. I mean, the one every client has rejected. And why should I do that? Babe, do you know how much I'm going to make of that woman? Just, I will make it up to you. Hmm? Okay. Um, let's start with Mr. Tony from Abuja. Hmm? I need that here. Come on. Oh, hold on. No checks. No percentage. Baby, you go do the work. I need the cash. Is that a deal? Okay. Deal. <laughs> Remember what I said? Mr. Tony from Abuja. I'm not any other client. Okay, I will do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then deal. Well, babe, why buy all this? I will tell you, just do the deal first. No problem. Please, talk to her, Andre. She's too nice. She don't even know the woman. I will talk to her. Make her feel for me. Very important. Babe, I will. Can I go now? Please. Oh. Karen showed up at my office today. 
and was speechless for a long while. She said she was going to be here for a week. It's a week today. And on the last day of the week, she's getting an apartment. And? And? Is that all you have to say? She told you she would be staying for a week. She told me she missed New Jersey. Why then is she extending her stay? What's your point, Coco? I, I don't know why you can't say it. She is after you. Excuse me. At first, I thought it was you going after her. But it's clear now. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You're, not, you're not going to jump and run away from what you just said. I was going after her. As in, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. It's clear now, she's the one all over you. <laughs> Coco, let me tell you something. Karen has a bevy of men that are after her. She doesn't have to fly continents to look for one. Especially not me. Okay? Do you know she's not on WhatsApp? She's not on Facebook? She's not on Instagram? She's not on any social media. Okay, she's not on social media. Doesn't mean she doesn't exist. So? Diva, you're not taking me seriously this night. Stay away from Karen. I can't. What? I said I can't. Otherwise, my family will have my head. At this point, what needs to be done needs to be done. No, Coco. At this point, what needs to be done is to get rid of this paranoia. I am not paranoid. Thoughts of what's going on. Okay. He's a virgin. I beg, don't talk this kind of thing again now. No, eh? wait. We're happiness, wait now, wait. Coco, talk, talk, talk. We're here for you. Go on. It may be nothing to you guys, but I just want to hear your opinions. Okay. Um, we usually make out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, today was my first time to make him move, okay. you know, how... Uh, yeah, 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 understand. Sense. He pushed me away. <gasps> he did what? It is a lie. I talk him. Hmm? Hey! <laughs> no more weights, Coco. <laughs> Have you seen you? Have you stood in front of a mirror and looked at yourself? Babes, you are irresistible. And if that man resists you, then I'm sorry, my darling. He's not into you. Sorry. That's it. I hope I'm not here at a bad time. Can we talk? Mm. 
Um, <clears throat> um, babe, can we talk about this later, please? Dave, it's important. Um, I... I really need to go. It's, uh, it's very urgent. I'm so sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Alright, babe? Right, baby. You should come up to my room. I think not, Karen. You said it was urgent. I thought something had happened to the child. What do you want to talk about? The child. <laughs> the child, as if she doesn't belong to someone, as if she's not yours. Divine, let it sink. You're not going to cause any problem, are you? It's in the agreement. So why are we here? What do you want to talk about? Listen, Divine, if I didn't feel that you were disrespected enough, I wouldn't be here. Yes. I, I walked in on her dissecting your life's choices with total strangers. How she doesn't trust you. How she doubts you're a virgin. And those brats, <laughs> they chimed in giving their own opinion. That went on for minutes. They didn't even realize when I walked in on them. I, I heard the worst things about you today. Courtesy of the woman you want to marry. And now, don't give me that look, okay? Ask her if you may. But while you are at it, please, and please, don't try to prove a point by mentioning to her that you are the father of my child. Divine, you know you don't want my heat. And she? <laughs> she cannot stand my heat. I believe that things are fine the way they are. We have an agreement between us. Let's stick to it. Don't ever forget that. I think I'm less of a man because we've not had sex. That is what I want to talk to you about. I said talking to strangers. Karen might have blew what she heard out of proportion. Dave, I was worried. You were worried. You were worried. So you spoke to people about your worries about me. People who have no idea about who we are. People who do not care about you and I together. Strangers who are not even close to friends and family. You went there and you spoke to them about me, about our situation. A home is built on discretion. You know this. Dear, I'm sorry. I, I tried and you pushed me away. I was like... You were like what? You were like what? Let me dissect the situation with a talking drum. Maybe you don't get it. How I am perceived in your cycle is entirely up to you. If I'm respected or disrespected, it's entirely up to you. What you tell them determines how they look at me. Coco, I have done everything, everything right by you up until now. What do you want? Is it sex? Is it sex? Is it sex? Tell me. I love you. I love you so much. And... And I've shown you in different ways. 
It's not like I'm saying no to sex with you. It's just that... It's just that I want it to be special because I love you. I love you, Coco. And you are worth waiting for. you today and then I'm sorry. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Now, what is it? You're scaring me. What happened? Go, go talk to me. What's going on? I love you. Oh, I love you too. But that doesn't answer the question. What's happening? Talk to me. Go, go. I, I have a daughter. See a picture. I need answers. I need answers. Rick. 
I had an affair. What do you mean you had an affair? The, the man I was dating at the time was my ex. He had gotten married. Um, we still managed to see each other somehow. I, I was afraid to start over with someone else. Then I got pregnant. He couldn't take the heat. And he broke things off between us. I, I couldn't bring myself to kill my own baby. So I, I kept her. Where is she now? She's with my mom. Dave. I... I understand if you want to call off the engagement. I do. <laughs> so... Did you tell her we have a child together? I told her that I love her. And I meant it. I'm allowed to have secrets, Karen. So what do you want? I want to be free from the NDA and talk to Coco about anything. That's what I want. <laughs> so you think I would break a non-disclosure agreement and bring chaos to your home with your worldly girlfriend? I told you she's worldly. She even has a child to prove Stop. it. Stop. Stop it. Please. Listen up to Vine. We both donated our seed. And we have a beautiful daughter. I have a successful tech business. Do you honestly think that I need some married baby father spam donor drama? <laughs> no. No. So. Are you coming up to my room this time? <laughs> oh, it's a good day! Ah ah, Coco. This one you're so happy today. What's the Coco? Happiness is a good fever, baby. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Hey, is she alright? Are you asking me? One that shall never end. Hey. Okay. Oh. She hasn't called or texted. And she's supposed to be in Lagos today to meet my family. Oh, Hello, Divine. Hi, Karen. Um, Hi, I Karen. Ah, what a surprise. Are you, you didn't call or test anyone to say you were coming. Huh? Were you not supposed to leave for Lagos today? Um, Divine and I, we have couples time planned. You know, I have been working <laughs> and I've let you have his attention. I have not been stingy with him. Oh, 
I need my man's attention. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. You know, sister to sister. <laughs> <coughs> no. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> of course. Not at all. Uh, bye, Karen. Coco? I can't believe you just did that. You have a woman in your life. You should let it show. Girl, you got balls. Right. You got balls <laughs> of steel. Let me grab onto those balls. <laughs> up to your taste. It's not actually the season of tenants in this period. Mm. It's okay. I understand. Alright. But that notwithstanding, I'll still be looking. Mm. Whenever anything new and trending comes up, I'll let you know. Oh, I'll, I would appreciate that. It's okay. Thanks for coming, okay? Do have a nice day. I'm supposed to be in Abuja tonight. Why? Happiness sent me a message. A client who have been highly anticipating has confirmed the message. Gosh, I have a lot to do. But first of all, let me fix the breakfast. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. Um, you go ahead, take a shower, get ready, pack your things, come down. I'll, I'll make us breakfast. Mm -hmm. Thanks, baby. Love you. Love you too.
Ahmed. <coughs> Ahmed. Ahmed, put on the gen. I've already booked my flight. I'll be on my way soon. Okay? Your flight. Oh, the deal. Oh, the deal. Okay. Um, babe, have you seen my phone? The Samsung. No. It's been missing for days now. Uh uh. Whenever I call, it rings. What's in it? Hey, wait, the Samsung, is it not the one you have your MTN send inside? Yes, that's the one. You sent me a message with it last night now. Me? Uh huh. <laughs> Babe, I've not sent you a message for years. Remember, we communicate via email in this office. I know, but I thought you sent the message because of the deal. What are you going to say? I didn't send you any message, please. See it. You know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. Where is your MTN number? Telling me to go to Abuja for the meeting. He didn't include the meeting, so I thought it's, it's Mr. Tony's meeting. If I didn't send this now, <laughs> so use it my phone. Okay. I said it. Now it's switched off. So the meeting was a mistake. Okay, now I can go to my man and get some, you know. It's a lie. Give me this. Leave me alone. I have to go. to start a family at 35. What was he waiting for? I killed that baby. I took the damn risk. And what did that cost me? That cost me my ability to carry a child. <sighs> and then your stupid brother died. <sighs> you know what pains me most about his death? <sighs> I would have loved to poison him and watch him die slowly. <sighs> he didn't die painfully enough. Who would want to stay with a woman that cannot multiply? <sighs> I had to be smart. At least learn to multiply money. Does that make any man want to stay with me? No. You're all going to pay. You ruined my life. <sighs> what were you thinking? I would sit down 
and watch you live your life as though nothing happened. <laughs> sure you pay <laughs> make sure you pay Where is everybody? I had to open the gate myself. I don't know. The house smells like baby wipes. The divine clean? Yes, he did for a little bit. Then he went out to get fuel for the generator. Oh, okay. I'm hungry. I was going to fix something to eat. Oh, don't worry. I'll fix that for you. Yeah, I'll visit her. Okay. <laughs> What will I fix for you? You. Ah! Are you okay? Dear, let's go. I'm sorry. Dave. Dave. Dave, look at me. Come on, look at me. Dave, look at me. Baby. Hey. Hello, wifey. Hey, hubby. Are you okay? I'm fine. The slumber, wake me up. <laughs> Let's go and play. Annabelle.
slumber, wake me up. 